ऊपर से भारत कैसा दिखता है आपको आ, जी मैं बगैर किसी झिझक के कह सकता हूँ कि सारे जहाज से अच्छा दैट वन लाइन एकोड थ्रू एवरी इंडियन क्लास रूम फॉर डेकेट एंड नाउ फोर्टी ईयर्स लेटर Another IAF officer is ready to carry that very spirit back to space. Meet Group Captain Subhangshu Shukla, the first Indian to visit the International Space Station and the pilot of Axiom Mission 4. He's not just riding history, he's flying it. And if Prime Minister Narendra Modi gets to speak to him from orbit, history may just rhyme again. Let's tell you what's happening. Subhangshu was born in Lucknow and he was inspired by the Kargil War. He then joined the NDA in secret. Flew everything from Jaguars to MiG 21s as well, and now he's flying to space. On May 29, 2025, Shukla will take off from NASA's Kennedy Space Center as pilot of Axiom Mission 4 aboard a Space 10 Dragon capsule. His destination: the International Space Station, marking India's return to human spaceflight after 40 long years. So let's tell you about India's return to space four decades later. In 1984, Rakesh Sharma became the first Indian in space, and in 2025, Shukla becomes the first Indian to visit the ISS. This mission is not just a headline; it's a strategic leap ahead of India's Gaganyaan program. Why is it happening now? Because space is no longer about just presence; it's almost about capability. And Shukla's seat isn't just symbolic; it's literally earned. So let's make you meet the AX4 crew. Shukla will not be flying alone. There's also going to be Commander Peggy Whitson, a NASA veteran. There'll be Tibor Kapu from Hungary, Slavoj Uznanski from Poland, and Shukla himself representing India. Together, they'll spend 14 days on the ISS conducting cutting-edge research, public outreach, and international collaboration as well. Shukla's personal goals to run India-selected microgravity experiments, also to demonstrate yoga in space, not to mention capture the experience for 1.4 billion Indians. Now let's tell you why this flight changes everything. This mission is so much more than just optics. It's India's space diplomacy in action, literally. 500 crore INR investment has happened, a collaboration between NASA, SpaceX, Axiom and ISRO. And this paves the path for Gaganyaan, which is going to be India's first crewed mission in space in 2026. This also sets the benchmark for the future Bharatiya Antariksh station. So yes, it's not just about being there anymore. It's about doing more once you are there. Shukla's journey is quite literally in parallel with India's aspiration. Shukla was selected in 2019. He was then trained in Russia's Yuri Gagarin Center. Over 2000 hours of flying time just for Shukla. So this is not just about India sending someone to space. This is about one Indian flying an entire crew into space. That's a leap from outsourcing to operating literally and Shukla's performance could shape Israel's astronaut program for the next decade. So yeah, space is not just for superpowers anymore. This mission shows that India is not just playing catch up. India, Indians and Israel are all building forward with a clear vision. Bioastronautics, space manufacturing, so we're in human space flight from Gaganyaan to the Bharatiya space station by 2035 itself. that's in less than a decade so india is quite literally playing the long game and playing it with confidence clarity and a ready crew india's countdown has already begun from a kid who was inspired by kargil to now an iaf pilot flying to the orbit group captain subhangshu shukla is about to write a new chapter in india's space story in india's space history this is not just going to be another mission it is it's a message almost india is not waiting for permission to lead India is leading. The future is here. It's now and India is flying with the tricolor. This is front page by AIM TV and brings us so much pride to bring this story to you. Tell us in the comments how do you feel about this? How proud does this make you feel? As for me, I can't even put it in words. Share this video with a fellow tech enthusiast and of course a fellow space enthusiast as well because India is back in space. For more such Indian success stories just like this, don't forget to subscribe to AIM TV because Think AI, think AI.